let's look at this Benny Hinn concert or crusade one more time, okay? And uh, the reason I want to look at this thing one more time is because the organizing committee and Benny Hinn are giving conflicting information. What they are saying, one team is saying this, the other team is saying that. There is confusion in that camp. And we know that God is not the author of confusion. So we are seeing that there are lies that are being said either by Benihin or the organizing committee. We don't know who. But in this video, I'm going to be highlighting those for you. And as we get in, I want us to read this verse from um, John chapter 8 from verse 44. says that you are of your father, the devil, and the last of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay? So, listen, when you see something that two people are giving contradicting messages, one of them is lying. So, in this video, we'll show you both. I don't know who is lying, but one of them is. The first lady of Kenya flew from Nairobi with her team, with her team, just for one reason to ask me to come back to Nairobi for a nationwide nation government sponsored crusade. Now we haven't had that in a long time where the first lady of a nation comes and says, we want to hold a crusade sponsored and supported by the government. Hiyo mkutano inafanyika na inaandaliwa na kukaribishwa na kanisa. Narudia. Narudia hiyo. Narudia kwa sababu kuna ruma sinaendekea huko nje ya kwamba e, Beni hii na mekaribishwa na serikali. Kuna ruma sinaendekea huko nje ya kwamba e, Beni hii na mekaribishwa na serikali. Imekaribishwa na kanisa. Na serikali imekaribishwa ikuja kwa kurusedi. And there you have it. Right there. The guest of honor himself. Benny Hinn has come out and said, yo, this is going to be a government-sponsored event. He got that information from somewhere. Either he was lied to, we don't know, or he is lying, we don't know. But the point is, he said that it is a government-sponsored event. Then the organizing secretariat in Kenya on the ground comes out and says, oh, hey, wait a minute, that is a rumor. He, they dismiss it as a rumor. Their very guest of honor has said that this one is government-sponsored, and they're dismissing that very statement as a rumor. They're going ahead to say that it's a church which is sponsoring this thing. These guys, they seem to be doing damage control. But either way, the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion and that the devil is the father of all lies. And if one of these two are lying, then we know for sure that there is a devil somewhere in this crusade that is coming on the 24th. There must be a devil right there. Somewhere, there is something going on there. 5,000, 5,000 in the choir. They're already practicing. And they told us that Miracles are happening in the choir while they're practicing. 5,000 choir members are practicing already. Vile waimbaji wamekuwa wameanza tulikuwa na mkutano juu ya excellence ya saidi ya watu elfu mbili wa kuimba na tunataka elfu tano. Kwa hivyo bado tunalila kupokea. Na tunashukuru mungu my sister Florence Moraithi na kwa secretary wetu mama Lucy yuko pale akisimamia hiyo team na zingine nyingi ama groups zingine ambazo tunafanya pamoja and there you have it yet another lie okay <laughs> benny hin here says that uh the, the choir the choir that is going to be singing in this crusade are already 5000 people and in this choir they are already experiencing miracles and then after that the organizing secretariat of the very same crusade come out and say you know what hey yo we have 2000 people Okay, we are targeting 5,000, but right now we have just a bit over 2,000 people. Now, one of these is lying. And so we can also see here this thing that Benihim is trying to say that they are already experiencing miracles. He's trying to garner up this idea that he is a powerful prophet. And even the people who want to sing for him already are experiencing miracles. But the organizing secretariat is coming in to undo what he has done. You see, this is confusion. And one of these two are lying. We don't know who, but we know that there is something very, something very wrong with this healing crusade that is going to be happening on the 24th. We already see it. Watu wanauliza maswali mbona kurusedi hii ya Benihin wachungaji wote kanisa mzima mpaka wafanyikazi wa serikali mpaka wanasiasa wako ndani imekuwaje kila mtu anataka mkutano na mbona ni Beni na sio Pastor Kisotu Haleluya Sababu ni nyingi lakini nakupatia mbili moja kwa sababu Mungu upeana manto na sasa hivi tunahitaji katika taifa letu neema 
ya uponyaji wa kila kitu katika taifa letu. And I'm sorry to say that prosperity has gone a little crazy. And I'm correcting my own uh, 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 theology and you need to all know it. Here we are going to employ some critical thinking because there are some things that have been said by the organizing secretariat that have not been said directly, okay? On the one hand, they are saying that Benin has been invited because God gives healing mantles, okay? And at the end of it, he said that when Benin comes and anoints these people and gives them their ability of doing miracles, they'll be able to have it, okay? The ability to make viwete watembe, to make cripples to walk. What they've said without saying is that they currently do not have that kind of a power. All those pastors in that secretariat, they don't have that kind of power. They need Benin to come and give it to them. Did we not wear masks to church during COVID and these people are claiming to have healing? We know they don't have it. They don't. But is Benihin that person? Benihin has even himself come out to apologize for what he's been doing. Okay, so is this the guy really that they want to bring in? A person who actually even lies about their own crusade? Okay, anyway, let's see a bit more of this. Wabiri wamekuja wengi katika inji za inji walio beba revival. Na singe sina muda wakutaja majina yao. Na baada ya Mungu kutuongelesha kupitia mtumishi wake. Tukaketi, tukasema hii makosa iliyotoka katika taifa letu, tutaiponya aje. Tukakuja kujua kwamba hata mtumishi huyu tunayemleta amewahi umizwa na akasema hata wairudi Kenya. Lakini kwa neema ya Mungu tumemfikia, tumeenda tukatubu kwake, akuje kwa niaba ya wengine wote walioumizwa, waje anene baraka ili wale walio sema Kenya ilaaniwe, Mungu atuhurumie na inji yetu ipone. Mwanasikia? So hii si tu crusade, hii ni crusade ya kuponya roho zetu. Na hii ni crusade ya kutubu. Ndio maana ni kanisa ndio inaipokea. Na sisi ndio tunatoa pesa. Sisi ndio tunatoa matoleo yetu. Sisi ndio tunasema kwamba hii mkutano hata toa shilingi. Sisi ndio tunapokea ili taifa letu lipone na akuje aseme kama mgeni aliyebarikiwa Kenya na anga yake barikiwe. Akitubariki tukipokea, akirudi pasta Kisotu atanyanyua kiwete. Pasa ma, maura atanyanyua kiwete. Na revival na neema ya miracle itakuwa katika taifa letu. The first lady of Kenya came to Florida to invite me. I want all of you in Kenya to be there at the crusade. It's a national event. Members of the government will be in the services. And the president and his wife and the prime minister and his wife. It's a national event. Can somebody tell Pastor Benihim? that Kenya does not have a prime minister. So no, the prime minister of Kenya and his wife is not going to be there, okay? Now, that aside, the messaging that is coming out of this healing crusade, at least by my observation, is this. These pastors or this team of organizing secretariat, this team of pastors of Kenya, I'll not mention them, but they are there, okay? They are actually trying to send forth this message that Kenya is sick and the healing will only come through this one Benihin. Because this Benihin came to Kenya many years ago, and he actually spoke a curse on us because he was mistreated here in Kenya. When Benihin came to Kenya in the year 2000, my mother took me to go and see that crusade. I was right there where the ambulances were. I was a small girl at the time. I was in primary school. I was there when the ambulances and the whatevers were coming from Kenyatta National Hospital with sick people, some at the brink of death, okay? And they were coming in in stretchers. And I was waiting, waiting to see them get healed. They were never healed. They were put back into the ambulances. And they were driven back to Kenyatta National Hospital. But strangely enough, on stage, there are people who are there who actually had their crutches removed, apparently. And you know, and you wonder if this God of Benihin actually is a healer. Why didn't he heal these ones who are in the ambulances? Why? Okay? So when people come out to say that this Benihin was mistreated, was he mistreated? He himself has confessed that he has been preaching a wrong gospel. His own nephew has come out to say that they have been acting and performing miracles. Is this the man that we want to come here to anoint our pastors in this country? To anoint them with what? The spirit of lies? The spirit of deception? With what will he be anointing our pastors in Kenya? You guys have been told to remove a million each in your churches and some churches have removed as far as 8 million to facilitate the coming of this fake charlatan into our country to place hands on people. What will we be receiving at that point? What will we be receiving? 